Right then, let's have a look in uh, Hive 1. This is the one we had the um, had the queen cells in uh, that we did the uh, swarm control in. So we'll see what we got now. Uh, I'm just going to quickly go in now. I'm not going to do a massive search. I'm just going to go through, have a look. See that the, uh, the cells are all right. There's no more, no other cells in there. And uh, make sure it's, um, everything's hunky-dory. Uh, like I said, only a quick look. Ooh. Right, well, there's a, I can see new wax on the super, so that means they're working. They're working the uh, the super, which is good. We're looking the super last. Uh, a little bit of weight to it. Oh. Right, sit this queen excluder off. They're a bit vocal. They might not be in a very good mood because, well, they're queenless, I suppose, if you want to look at it like that. Got a queen cell, but they are queenless. Not hopelessly queenless, but queenless. So yeah, they're a bit a bit tetchy. So let's get in and get out. We've not done touched any of these frames, but not really expecting them to. So they should, if anything, let's be um, should all really be capped capped brood in here now they work in this one yeah that's a nice new foundation they've started drawing out yeah it's all capped some shiny some shiny cells in there, some polished cells. Can't see any other any other queen cells in there. That's the only thing is they could have could have possibly made some emergency cells when I removed the queen. They may have done, still early yet. And the cells on the next frame, so. It's all drones there. Oh, there's an emergency cell there, I see it. Let's get the bees out of the way. They're covering it over. That's why you can miss them. There. It's actually capped as well. So they are get they are a bit they're protecting it, look. So let's have a quick look at the other one. I should have come up four days later, really, to, to make sure they hadn't done that, but the weather hasn't been great. Unfortunately, we had some real nice weather and then it's just been horrible and too cold really to open up a hive. So, nothing on that frame that side, but the actual sow is where's the, the red drawing pin we put, so we remember where it was. I remember it's down the bottom. There it is. There's another one up there. That's what we will do. So we will remove them.
check across here, I don't think there will be. That's just a drone. Right, so we got the original one down there, which we leave, obviously. these last two frames because that's where more brood was just make sure there's no other queens because she should hatch first the one we saved or emerge first I just sent another cell down queen cell so she should emerge first and then kill these but we don't want that chance of happening and her getting injured oh I thought I saw one but it's a it's drone brood This one and then that should be fine because the others are two new frames. I don't think there was any brood on this one, but gotta check it just in case. Because we don't want them fighting. And then one could get injured, and then we're back to square one again. Right. So let's put these back together. Come on girls, out the way. Bit more smoke, keep them off the top bars. The queen cell is there for that one. There was one on here if I remember. Is it this one or is that the one I just removed? If I had had the uh, space, I would probably save a few of these. The space, I mean, the equipment set up, I'm a bit behind, so get rid of that one. They are going to go baloney. saving it but I'm not saving them so those have got a little bit of larvae in them so they got really the half queen that we saved, we saved uh, last time would be fine so we've got this one down here as well which is almost the same as the one we got but comparing these sows to the one we got see that one could probably save that one look how small it is it's quite small compared to the one that we that we had because um, emergency cells are a little bit more rushed. The swarm cells, they've, they've done it their self. So there's more royal jelly and built out better. I would show you but they are getting very Ow. <laughs> very, very. Very, very nasty. Thank <laughs> you. 
こね Said I should come here four days later and remove them because after eggs are four over four days old, they're four or five days, and then after four days, they don't really use eggs or larvae. So, my fault, really. that alone for two or three weeks because she should emerge this week and then hopefully she then go and have a mating flight and start laying within two weeks so I'll come back in two weeks on this hive to see if we can find eggs to see if she's mated now obviously depending on the weather, I know it's not brilliant weather at the moment, but we are getting some warm-ish days, so hopefully hopefully she'll get a chance to uh, to mate Time will tell. This box is a bit, a bit heavy. Come on, girls. calm down a bit now because they're a bit crazy um, and I'll catch you on the next one cheers